This is a video demonstrating how to build a database assembly, specifically on how to build an assembly for a control valve that would connect a mainline pipe to a zone pipe. When building assemblies in the database, it's important to consider how the pipes are drawn on the plan. Here we have two examples with a mainline pipe, one teeing into the valve and one elbowing into the valve at the end of the mainline. The separation of the mainline pipe and submain pipe is horizontal, but in reality, the, the valves may be installed vertically above the mainline pipes. In the following image, we can see that this is the case where the mainline pipe tees vertically, goes through an elbow to the control valve. Downstream of the valve, there is a T, an air relief valve on top of the T, then going down to a T connecting the submain below. Very similar situation, but instead of a T on the mainline pipe, there is an elbow. Going back to the image of our plan, we can see that at each control valve site, there are three junctions. There's a junction on the main line, a junction on the zone pipe, and the valve is a junction in itself. It's very important to note that the fittings in an assembly will be used where the junction is at the control valve. The mainline junction and zone junction will be resolved separately, and so these items do not need to be included in the assembly. So the T's and the 6-inch elbow need not be included in the assembly. The process of making a, a control valve assembly is similar to making a new valve with some components inside it. So we're on the valve tab of the database, and this is the valve that we're going to have inside the assembly, the 4 inch by 3 by 4 inch valve with PVC flange connections. And it's very important that we transfer the hydraulic information about this valve that determines the friction loss through to the new assembly. The best way to do that is to highlight that valve, the one that you're going to use, before you start creating the assembly. To create the assembly, we go to the component menu and click on new assembly. And now we see that the correct information has been brought in. We're going to change the name of the valve. We'll call it Nelson434 with ACV. And we can give it a different part number. Connections inside an inlet and outlet are still PVC female slip, still 4 inch. The hydraulic constants are the same. Everything is the same and so we click continue. Now uh, we need to add the valve that we're going to have inside it. So we click on that valve and say we want one of those. And here we can see the list being built at the bottom. We want to include an air control valve, one of those. We need a 4 inch elbow, one of those, 4 inch 90. We need a 4 inch T, one of those. And we need a, from the coupler database, a 4 inch by 2 inch slip by female thread reducing bush. One of those. So here we have a list of the components and the quantities of those components. Now we go to component and finish assembly. So here we have our uh, assembly, and these are the items in it. We still have our valve that is part of that assembly up here in the valve database. So we're going to close the database to save those items, and then we will start a new design. We will now draw a simple layout to check the fittings that we have included in those assemblies. So. I'll place a couple of valves and here we have 
the valve that we built, the assembly, and I will give it a depth of 24 inches. And really this is to be the same as the pipe. We know that the valve is going to be above ground, but the way that we built the assembly, everything's in the same plane. So I'll put a valve here, and another valve over here. And then I'll draw some six inch mainline pipe, the 24 inch depth. some 4 inch pipe, also 24 inches to connect to the valves. And then some 4 inch sub main pipe to complete the picture. Again at 24 inches. And we can run our computer selection of fittings. If we zoom in on this, we'll see that the uh, T has been included in this junction. It's not part of an assembly. This one, the 6x4 reducing T, has also been included. Not part of the assembly. And then the fittings for the valve it's just the valve assembly. No other fittings have been included. And in this, it is very similar, except on this junction here, we have a 6 inch 90 degree elbow with a 6x4 reducing bush. And then if we look at the bill of material reports, We have some end caps, but here we have uh, the two valves, the two ACVs. We have two reducer bushings, spigot by female thread. We have one 6x4 bush going away from the elbow, that 60 degree, 6 inch 90 degree elbow, the uh, 4 inch 90, and the 4 inch T, and the 6x4 bush. So everything is there that we need. Uh, for that system.